welcome to the month of October and happy 61st Independence Anniversary to all Nigerians both home and abroad. Now we are thankful to God for how far we've come as a nation. It could be far better than we have at the moment. Oh yes, as a matter of fact, it should be better. But we remain thankful to God first and then we continue to hold our leaders accountable and they should deliver the dividend of democracy to us while we as the followers play our part and do better. And then we have a great nation. How about that? Yes, we can, and yes, we should. Well, back to the business of today. We are honoring a great Nigerian and also a celebration of life, all that within 30 minutes. But kindly watch out for sensitive images while we do that. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chikosi, Uyeludi. And let's begin the show in Inye Ekiti, Ekiti State, where philanthropists Mr. Haim and Mrs. Kemi Hali were both given the chieftaincy title of Otumba Taeshe and Erelu Taeshe by the Olunyi of Inye Ekiti, His Royal Majesty Adiola Ajakai, during the celebration of his one year on the throne. Take a look. <laughs> The Oluin of Inyekiti, Obadiola Ajakai, walking into the arena to a jubilant crowd acknowledging his royal arrival alongside his Oluri. It's a season of communal celebration in Inyekiti. First, the monarch is marking one year on the throne, and then chieftaincy title will be given to a couple who have contributed in no small measure to the development of Inyekiti and its environs. <laughs> The town played host to guests within and outside the country for the event. is home to many prominent Nigerians. Amongst them, the first executive governor of Ikiti State and a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Otsumbani Adibayo. Former Minister of Aviation, Mr. Babatunde Omotoba. Former NYSC boss, Major General Bamidele Olaumi. Nigerian Ambassador to the Netherlands, Dr. Eniola Ajayi. Senator Okbayami Bamidele amongst others.
Mrs. Kemi Elibete Halle, a daughter of the soil, together with her husband, engineer Haim Halle from Israel, the Middle East, have been contributing to the development of the town. So on this one-year anniversary of the royal father, he thought it wise to honor them. They were both bestowed with the chieftaincy title of Otumba Atayeshe and Irelu Atayeshe of Inyi Kingdom. The title, Atayeshe, loosely translates to those who make the world a better place. And that is exactly what the couple says remained their focus. I uh, feel it uh, overwhelmed to be an honored, to be a chief in uh, this country in Yoruba land. I can say that the title being given us today is not what anybody can think that we don't deserve. We have always developed people. We are humanitarian people. We have developed capacity, human capacity. We have developed society. We have brought development to the stage. <laughs> King of Juju Music, Sonny Adi, is here to give the guests the best of entertainment. <laughs> I can assure you it's only uh, this award on them is based on merit. You understand they've contributed a lot to uh, society. I know them, they are very quiet. They don't make noise about uh, charities they do and stuff like that. I've been part of them for quite some time, so I know what they've done. They are just philanthropists, I can simply say. They help whenever they see there's need to help. That's why you can see from all walks of life, people are here to celebrate with them. This goes to show how good they are. You know, um, she's a woman with a heart of gold. All right, she has um, taught so many lives, you know, part of which I'm one. And I came here both because of her and, of course, um, the Honorable Senate President, you know, Senator Ahmed Ali Lawa. Ahmed Lawa. Okay, these are great leaders that have laid good example. After the chieftaincy ceremony, the fun continues in Adoikiti, the state capital, for the reception. Here, they hosted their guests with so much to eat and drink, and of course, good music.
engineer Haim Halle has about 40 years of experience in construction. He studied civil engineering and later architecture in Israel. Started his construction career in 1981 at Ashtram Israel as a project manager and site engineer. He came to Nigeria and worked with Reynolds Construction Company Nigeria Limited from 2013 to 2015. He is the CEO of Halikem Limited, an indigenous construction company with a staff strength of over 300 workers. While Mrs. Kemi Elibote Halley is a graduate of civil engineering, she worked with Julius Berger Nigeria PLC and Sawe Construction Company Nigeria. She is the life matron of Dominion Group and a founding partner of an NGO that caters for the needs of the less privileged, widows and orphans in the society. We say a big congratulations to Otsumba Ataishi and Irelu Ataishi of Inye Kingdom. Wow, congratulations to them.